Hello, my personal person. I'm glad that you are here today, and I'm glad that you are still showing up. So today, my topic is: This is the reason why you are still single. And I'm sharing this because I was motivated by God after I was so discouraged. And the reason why I'm doing this, I'm helping you out. So one of the reasons first, the first reason is when you are in the waiting season. Uh, if God is putting you on a waiting season like me, I am single and God had to clarify for me what was happening because I did a lot. You know, you'll be listening to someone say, there's a generational curse, you break it. They say this and that, you pray against it and then they say another thing and then the important thing that you need to have as you are praying is to have a solid relationship with God, which I have a relationship with God and I know that as you continue to watching one of this, uh, keep on listening to one of my YouTube uh, teachings, even if your relationship with God is not that strong, it's going to be okay because it's all about just growing and improving. Well, another reason is um, those strongholds, it is the power of the enemy. You know, and in some other families, there are generational curses, meaning that there are uh, curses that you experience because of your grandfather's father, your grandfather, the people you didn't even see in life, but you are suffering because of them and because of sin that someone else has to suffer someone else's sin. You were not there when they sinned, but you're suffering, you see? So it's important to have a relationship with God. All of this thing is pointing the significance of having your personal relationship with God. Because if you are a person who spends enough time with God, then when you go in prayer, you go with confidence, you're going to receive. You know, sometimes people say that I've been praying so much about it, but they were praying in unbelief. If you're praying in faith, then you know that it's done. You may not see the results now, but you know it's sorted. So when you keep spending your time with God, you are being built in your faith. Because if we're talking about generational curses, there are a lot of people in your family bloodline who suffered the same things. You know, someone will be talking about in their family bloodline that there was no marriage or there are no kids. People are not having babies, school, or this is the problem, the things that they face. And you notice that this is what's happening in my family. Or oh, people are having miscarriages everybody in the family every woman i mean to say they're having miscarriages you notice the pad the pattern in your family bloodline and th that's the thing that you have to walk on so as an individual who spends enough time in prayer you get to be equipped by the word of god and you pray earnestly and you see the results you might be hearing this message and maybe you're not in in full faith but it's okay the fact that you are here listening you will listen and listen and listen and read the word and continue to function in in faith you don't have to worry and to say to blame yourself that you are not in faith you've been praying about this for so long spend time with god he's understanding and he helps us to grow and he loves us so much it's amazing to know that i'm praying i'm talking to somebody that loves me i'm talking to somebody that cares about me so i am not trying to fight anything in he already loves me so it's okay so it's important to understand your season of life and you can understand as you walk with God, but also you don't have to worry. God is not going to tell you everything about your life. If he's revealing something, it's okay. Walk with that. If he's not re revealing anything, that's also okay. He is our father. He is our God. He knows why he's hiding some other things from us. And he's, he's showing other things because you and I uh his children he understands our minds that if i can show you everything about this if you are going to be ready uh, or not because sometimes you'll be thinking if only i can understand everything maybe then i can say I, I can have faith but god knows that if i can show you everything you will be in unbelief and mostly you're gonna give up because he knows our minds. He knows the way our minds are wired. He knows uh, our innermost core that sometimes you think that you know yourself when you don't. 
So it's important to understand that as uh, an individual, as you are praying for your godly spouse, your godly one person that you want to live with, you have to surrender that desire to God so that you will not find in yourself idolizing the idea of getting married to a point that you cannot see God or you just see your marriage or you're just thinking about yourself getting married. It is a beautiful thing. Marriage is God's idea, but we should not be centering our lives in marriage there were times where i was praying for marriage to a point that god has to under make me understand that uh it is a blessing but you should not focus on it like that so when we allow god to continue to adjust and help us to unpack some other stuff and just allow to grow the way that he is pointing then we are growing healthy so so it's important to understand like you get the real answer as you spend your personal time with God. So if I'm talking to you and God already is saying in your heart, it is not your season yet. It is not saying that you're not going to get married. It's saying that it's right now I'm working on you. He's busy working on me. And I can see that when I started praying about my godly spouse, I was like lost because it was many years, I think. Um, I'll tell you one day the year specifically, but I prayed and I was like not sure of my calling. A lot of things I did not understand. You know, God blesses us, but differently so because you know you hear some other people's testimony when they got married, they didn't know much about themselves, but they were married. It's God's decision. But you know, I prayed and I didn't have a lot of understanding in my own life, and God had to work on my life, on my character, the way that I talk to people, the way that I talk to my Myself, the way that I connect to myself and so God has to help me to unpack a lot of things and help me to have that clear vision of my life and to grow as an individual and really help me to revisit the place where I was broken and help me to be fixed because a relationship is not a tool to fix us you are not praying to pray to have somebody that's gonna fix you you are not praying to get somebody that's gonna just be like God in your life you don't need that if if you think marriage is something that's gonna fulfill you like it's a, it, it's like gonna be another part that is pulling you up like you're gonna be complete by marriage then you are not getting the picture because the Bible tells us completely that we are complete in him so God is the one that completes you up you are not supposed to be allowing things to complete you a man is not made to complete you you are coming complete and he's complete and you are becoming a big powerful tool together for the kingdom of God. You are not looking for somebody that is going to fill you up. You're not finding someone to fix you. You are not looking for somebody that has to uh, maybe be like God. You know, you may be praying and really not understanding that what I'm praying about, is it a husband or is it, is it God? Because, you know, if you don't understand the role of God in your life or a role of a man, it becomes a problem. There were times where I had to ask God to help me understand really what uh, I'm supposed to expect from a man. And he had to first make me understand what am I and a lot about myself and so I can understand and see that this is a man and what can I expect from a man based on God's idea and direction. And I want to tell you that we need to wait on the right time of God. You don't have to rush or be ahead of time. Don't rush God and don't be thinking that, what if you can do this and this and that and that. Don't do something that God wouldn't uh, instruct you to do. So we have to be willing to wait, be willing to listen to God. Don't try to run ahead of God. You don't need to have another two years of uh, of coaching and you know, healing, uh, healing from a broken heart. You know, I am a relationship coach, and I'm happy to have you coming to me and helping you. But the reason why I'm also uh, here on YouTube is because I want to have people who are continuously growing to become better. Not, I don't want you to keep playing back to the mud. You clean, go back to the mud get cleaned up and go back to the mud that's not how we are here this is a community of people who wants to grow and become better you are cleaned 
for a good day, you coming, you coming to me for coaching so that you become better and better and better. I, I'm good with that. Not like you are always looking for another better opportunity because God is still quiet. He's not saying anything. You don't have to force God to speak. If He's putting you on a waiting season like me, wait, so that you will not have another more more sessions of healing. Because you know when it comes to love. The heart, once it gets wounded, it becomes hard for you to be healed because now you got yourself attached to somebody emotionally to a point that you can't just turn that thing off. Like you can't just switch it off like that. You need a process of healing. So it's important to allow God to be who he says he is. I just want to remind you uh, by just opening Genesis 1, 26, the Bible says, And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the air. So we were created because of God. So we also have to understand that marriage is an idea of God and it's okay. When we know that it was the idea of God, you don't have to feel like it is your power. You got to get yourself and connecting yourself and do this and this and this and this. No, relax. Relax and continue to grow in your walk with God. Continue to grow in your walk with God so that when God is telling you if you are in a relationship because i know i'm a coach but sometimes you know people think that they you know if you come in for coaching it's important to be honest be transparent with me if you come with this you want to ask for questions but you are trying to hide some stuff because you think maybe i might um I might say some stuff to you or be rude. No, as your coach, you come transparent as possible as you can. And be honest, I am praying for a godly spouse, but already I am in a relationship. You got to be transparent because sometimes you're trying to hide that. And who knows, maybe that's your hindrance because you are praying for somebody and you are holding someone else on your hand. So you got to be honest with me most important be honest with god be honest with yourself be as honest as possible so as you continue in your walk with god when god tells you this is not the man for you i know it's hard but release the man and just do the will of god you know if god tells you this is not your woman just listen to the lord don't force things don't try to say god you must change him there's a reason why he said he is not the one it's because he decided that this is not your person so we have to submit to say okay um that's why it's important that when you move and you pray for a godly person you have to have open up your mind so that when god says no it's a no don't try to change no's into yes one time i was listening to a preaching of um Kenneth Hagen and he talked about this one woman who came to tell them that he's she's going to get married to a specific man and God said no about this man so she said she so so this woman went on in prayer and tried to convince God and then Kenneth Hagen said that and then she said God said meaning that Kenneth Hagen said that the woman said to him that God said to her that okay fine you can marry the man but then along the years after they got married, the men used to lock the woman inside of the house and say, you look gorgeous, you're too beautiful to go outside to go to church. So if you can listen to this, to this confirmation, she said that God said to her, you can see that she was just covering it up because she just hoped that this is the relationship for her. But then it became a burden for her. So I don't want you to be burdened because you have this strong desire to get yourself into somebody's hands. I am happy uh, when I'm seeing people get married. There were times when I'm like, God, like, don't you see me? But as I continue to walk with God and I'm praying and then all some days are not like the others, it's not always easy. But to know that I have God on my side and there's no mistake that can happen. My godly spouse is there and God sees him. And when the time is right, 
we are going to connect. And so remove this burden in yourself. Like you got to put yourself somewhere. I know uh, there are times where you'll be going out, but be careful. Don't always try to put yourself out there everywhere, out there everywhere. Like when you are sitting or standing or moving or walking, like in your mind, you are always thinking about a man. When you feel too much, when you're putting this, when you're idolizing the idea of getting married, that's when you are losing it. Because now God is no longer at the center of your heart. You are so glued into getting married. Well, marriage is a beautiful thing, but it's a bad thing if you are idolizing it. Now, if this does the thing that you think about. So I'm praying that you can pray uh, and just wait in the Lord and pray and grow. So you can book a session with me. You will find my details more. A lot of my details are in, in my Instagram uh, page you can find my information there for bookings of my coachings and you can also find me on on spotify uh, you can listen to my podcast it's called healing station 7 i'm all about making the improvement in relationship wise because i believe that if we can have better um relationship we grow in the love of god and we experience the life that we want so i pray god will just cause you to share him when he says this is the one and you will also hear god when he says he is not the one god bless you god keep you in jesus name amen